How can bosses ensure that their valuers are doing a good job from start to finish? Because to be honest with you, when I was a valuer, when the boss is sat next to me on the sofa, which was very rare, I acted diff totally differently. <laughs> And you're absolutely right, Chris. I mean, if a company has a process um, to be followed, um, every salesman thinks they're the best salesman in the world. Oh, yeah. You, every, ask, every... you ask 100 estate <laughs> valuers, they're all saying in the top 10%. Well, exactly, but the valuer has their own way of doing it. Now, the company may have invested a significant amount of money Yeah, these are things process. aren't cheap, are they? Uh, no. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, quite rightly, the business owner wants the, 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 um, the valuation to be conducted in a very strict fashion. And your valuation blind spot will enable that business owner to not just look, you know, not just critique the, the, the value. It may be the value is absolutely superb and has followed the process to the letter. Yes. They've then got a great video, which is an example of how to do that in the company. Um, but what, so, what, so the value will wear like a little video in their pocket looking at the vendor? So what would happen is our, um, our mystery shopper would have a means of, of video in the the valuation. Oh, it sounds like MI5. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very what, On the valuation or right from the start? For, for once the valuation's been booked, then the valuer will turn up at that, that person's home. Yes. And that, that, during the valuation process, there will be a way of videoing at certain points. That, so there could, that's be, a, a, there could be a, a, hidden, a hidden camera on the valuer, on the, um, on the, on the customer, yeah. um, and maybe some static cameras around the house. Hmm. That's a snooper's charter, isn't it? Not really, Chris. I mean, it, 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 you can say you can take the half empty approach. <laughs> I think the, impo take, yeah. Yeah, the important thing is that when we talk to our clients, obviously, they they would have um, uh, they would have already addressed any concerns within the business, be it by employment contract or training manuals, etc. Okay. You know, they, they're allowed this. to do this, are they? They they are pr provided they follow obviously the, the process of informing people that it may you know, may take place at some time during the. But employment. they don't just have to. Um, send in any old valuer. They could send in their top performing valuer mm. and use it as a training tool. For this, this, uh, is, this yeah. is what excellence looks like. Mm. This, have, this yeah. is aspirational then at that point. Mm. Um, additionally, as part of this process, we can also um, mystery shop competitors. Now, we won't video them and we won't audio record them. It'll be a written report, but a very comprehensive written report mm. because you're looking at incremental gains. Because if you're, if you're able to just get one more instruction in every 20 valuations yes. and you're getting previously over time, that builds up and it's worthwhile. If your competitor is consistently beating, pipping you to the post... You need to know why. You need to know why. Absolutely. Exactly. You know, what are they, what are they, what are they offering? And, and they're getting higher fees. How are they doing that? You know? So this, this is, this is, this is an insight that is impossible to access. Now, of course, from our perspective, we need to make sure that the... The mystery shoppers that we have in place have the right properties <laughs> that, that, are, that are suitable. So if you're sending them to a foreign country, for example, and they get sent into a two-up, two, into a, into a, you know, a, a two-down two little terrace house somewhere, that's not going to work, is it? Yes. So it has to be the right kind of uh, environment. Okay. Um, and also it's about creating benchmarks. So okay. over time, as we build a body of knowledge across the industry, we start to establish industry benchmarks for performance. Let's be honest. Seeing a valuer without their, you know, in the, in their natural environment, you know, David Attenborough. Absolutely. I was going to say yeah. naked, but it's not saying naked. Yeah. Yeah. No, but you know, because you do act differently when you've got someone that you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I think you do, and also it's you know everything you know with that process is is about personality in that as well. I mean, should engagement. valuers be afraid of no. this? Actually, I think, I think personally, I would, but if, if I was a valuer and I was concerned, I was sat in front of my boss saying, look, I don't, I'm not getting the, the wages I thought, or the commission rather, that I thought, um, and, and they could give me some support with that and, and training mm. and development by means would of you Do of you that. give uh, advice to bosses on the best way to approach this? Yes. The output, so the, 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 the whole point really around your valuation blind spot is creating a, um, a, a resource which enables continual improvement. So you're benchmarking performance then hopefully you're doing it again later on um, and in between times you each each um, okay. session generates an action plan which is then training led which can be through the consultants okay. that they're working with okay. can be through in-house or however they want to do it but the opportunity is then there to have an action plan for improvement which in turn can then be measured again the values will just have to go around looking for hidden cameras <laughs> <laughs> indeed <laughs>
<laughs> uh, but, but, but you know, I think most people, if you look at most businesses, they're looking to improve their business. They're not looking at, at this as a stick. They're actually yeah. looking to yeah. say, look, you know, you know, so when we've recruited somebody, that's a really valuable resource. Yeah. You don't want that resource. You don't want to, to lose that resource. What you want that resource to do is to work in yes. a smarter way. You want you to do. be paying your values as much commission as you possibly can. Yes. And having the right values. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.